Welcome to the Yes, you're a man. Hi friends, let us discuss prime factorization today. Before that, we have to understand the prime number. Let's start. Let's start with natural number. What is the natural number? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. It goes on. So, the natural number starts with 1 and the number goes on. Now, we are going to discuss prime number. Before that, natural number is divided into prime numbers and composite numbers. So, let us see prime numbers first. Prime number, any given number has 1 and itself as its factors. So, what is a prime number? Any given number has 1 and itself as, as its factors. Let us see some example. Let me take 3. Let me take 3. Now, just see the factors of 3. The factors of 3, 1 and 3 are the factors. It has no other factor. So, this is the prime number. That is 1 and itself. Any given number has 1 and itself as its factors is the prime number. Just see 3 has factors 1 and 3. Now just see the factors of 11. 11 also has factors 1 and 11 itself. That is 1 and 11 itself. Only two factors that is 1 and itself. So this is a prime number. Let us take 4. 4 has factors 1, 2, 2 2 is a 4. We can write 2 into 2 as 4. And 4. 4 is also a factor of 4. 1 is a factor of 4 and 2 is a factor of 4. For 3 and 11, other than the number itself, we cannot get any factors. That's why we call this as prime number. But for 4, you just see 1, 2 and 4. It has more than 2 factors. So, all these numbers are called as composite numbers. Now, just see the example of 12. It has 1, 2, 3, 4. 2 into 6, 2 and 6 are factors. 2, 6 are 12, so 2 and 6 are factors. 3, 4 are 12, so 3 and 4 are factors. 1 and 12 are factors. So, this is a composite number which has more than 2 factors a composite number. So, just keep in mind the number which has 1 and itself as its factors is said to be a prime number. Also, keep in mind 1, the number 1 is neither composite nor prime. Just see, the number 1 is neither composite nor prime. Let us see some of the divisibility test of some prime numbers. Divisibility by 2. If the number is even, that is, it ends in 2, 4, 6, 8 or 0, we say that the given number is divisible by 2. Let us take some example. 42. See, the number ends with 2. So, it is divisible by 2. So, this ends with 2 and we can confirm that it is divisible by 2. See here, 74. It ends with 4. So, it is divisible by 2. Now, here this number ends with 6. It is also divisible by 2. And this number ends with 8. And this is also divisible by 2. And this number ends with 0. So, now we can say that 60 is divisible by 2. So, all these numbers are divisible by 2. Once again, I repeat, if the number is even, so these are even numbers, that is, it ends in 2, 4, 6, 8 or 0, we say that the given number is divisible by 2. Next one, the divisibility by 3. 
If the sum of the digits of the number is divisible by 3, we say that the given number is divisible by 3. Let us take some example. Let me take 156. Now just see the sum of the digits 1 plus 5 plus 6. So the sum of the digits is 1 plus 5 is 6, 6 plus 6 is 12. 12 is divisible by 3. 12 is divisible by 3. And so because you know 4 3s are 12. See so just see 12 is divisible by 3. Okay. So we can conclude that 156 is divisible by 3. So you have to see the sum of the digits. Let us take one more example. 729. So you have to add the digits. 7 plus 2 plus 9 is equal to 7 plus 2 is 9. 9 plus 9 is 18. Now just see 18 divided by 3 is 6. 18 divided by 3 is 6. 18 divided by 3 is 6. So we can confirm that 729 is divisible by 3. So once again I repeat, if the sum of the digits of the number is divisible by 3, we say that the given number is divisible by 3. So here 156 and 729 are divisible by 3. So I have took the divisibility of divisibility by 2 and divisibility by 3. 2 is a prime number, again 3 is a prime number. Now let us discuss the divisibility by 5. So the next prime number is 5. Now let us discuss the divisibility by 5. If the number ends in 5 or 0, we say that the number is divisible by 5. For example, let us take 45. Let us take 70. Let us take 325. 100. So here the number ends in 5. So it is divisible by 5. Again this number ends in 0. So it is divisible by 5. Here again it ends in 5 and this ends in 0. So all these are divisible by 5. So we have seen the rules of divisibility of the prime numbers 2, 3 and 5. Now let us start doing the prime factorization. Prime factorization. Express each number as a product of its prime factors. So first one 156. Now we are going to express each number as a product of its prime factors. Okay. Let's start, let's start with the first one, 156. So, how to write 156? So, whenever, do, whenever you are doing prime factorization, start with the first prime number. Let us see whether it is divisible by 2 or not. If it is not divisible by 3, sorry, if it is divisible by, first let us start with 2. If it is divisible by 2, then proceed with 2. If it is not divisible by 2, then you just see the divisibility of 3. And if it is not divisible by 3, then you have to do with the prime number 5. So, let me start. Now, just see 156 ends with 6. So, just test the divisibility by 2. It ends with 6. It is a prime number. So, it is divisible by 2. So, I am starting with 2. So let me divide this 156 by 2. So for the first problem alone, I am just writing like this. 156 divided by 2. So what will you get? 7 2s are 14. Normal division. Okay. So 1, 16. Then 8 2s are 16. Okay. So it is divisible. Just see here. The same thing you have to see the... You have to divide here. So 7 times 7 2s are 14. So remaining 1, 16. 8 2s are 16. So let me continue. Here, same thing you have to divide. 3 2s are 6. Then here you have 7. So 3 2s are 6. Remaining 1. So it will be 18. 9 2s are 18. Then next. Now see, it is not an even number. It is not an even number. So it is not divisible by 2. So let's take the next. Prime number 3. Just see 3, 39, 
that is 3 plus 9 3 plus 9 3 plus 9 is 12 and 12 is divisible by 3 so 39 is divisible by 3 so let me write 3 here because 39 is divisible by 3 so 1 3 is 3 and 3 3 is 9 now just see 13 13 is not divisible by 2, 3, 5 or any other prime number because 13 is a prime number. It has no other factors. So, I am writing 13 as such. 1, 13 is a 13. So, that's all. Now, I am going to write 156 as a product of prime numbers. That is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 13. 2 into 2 into 3 into 13 into 1. So, this so 156 can be written as 2 into 2 into 3 into 13 because these are the prime factors of 156. These are the prime factors of 156. So, 156 can be written as 2 into 2 into 3 into 13. These are the prime factors. Okay. Let's do the next problem. Once again I repeat, just see the question, express each number as a product of its prime number. So you have to express each number as a product, as a product of its prime factors. These are the prime factors. So now you have ex expressed the express the number 156 as a product of its prime factors. Now let us do the next problem. 3825. 3, next problem, 3825. Let me start. As I said, a in the uh, previous problem, as I said in the previous problem, you can start first with the divisibility by 2. You can check the divisibility of 2 and 3 and then 5. First with 2, then with 3, then with 5. Or else, you can start with 5 in this problem because we know that the if a number ends with 5 or 0, we can say that it is divisible by 5. So, here I am starting with 5 because 5 is a prime number. 5 so, if I divide by 5, 7 fives are 35 and 3 remaining because 38 is here. So, 3. So, keep that 3 here. So, 32. So, 32 in the sense, 6 fives are 30. Then remaining 2. So, 25. 5 fives are 25. Then again, I am doing with 5 because it, the number ends with 5. Now just see 1 fives are 5, remaining 2, so 26, 5 fives are 25, 26 in the sense, this 1 it goes there because 5 fives are 25, so 26 minus 25 will be 1 remaining, so 1, 15, so 3 fives are 15. Now just see here 153, now check the divisibility by 2, it is not divisible by 2. It is not divisible by 5 because the number doesn't end with 5 or 0. It is not an even number so it is not divisible by 2. Just check the divisibility by 3. 1 plus 5 plus 3. So 6 plus 3 9. It is divisible by 3. So write down 3 here. Therefore because 9 by 3 is 3. So 153 is divisible by 3. Therefore write down 3 here. 5 3 is a 15 and 1. Again, just see this number. 5 plus 1 is 6. 6 divided by 3. So, 2. This number is again divisible by 3. So, write down 3 here. 1, 3 is 3. 21. 7, 3 is 21. Now, this 17 is a prime number. It has no other factors. So, write down 17 as such. Now, I have written 3825. 3825 as a product of its prime factors. So, 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 into 3 into 3 into 17. These are the prime factors of 3, 8, 2, 5. And now I have written as a product of its prime factors. Next problem, 729. So, now what I am doing is 729, I am just checking the divisibility test. So, it is not an even number. So, it is not divisible by 2. The next is, let us check whether it is divisible by 3 or not. 
so 729 so you have to find the sum of digits 7 plus 2 plus 9 so it will be 18 9 9 plus 7 plus 2 is 9 9 plus 9 is 18 18 is divisible by 3 6 3 is 18 okay so now write down 3 here because this number is divisible by 3 so you can start 2 3 is 6 so remaining 1 it will be 12 so 4 3 is 12 then 9 3 3 is 9 again just check the divisibility by 3 2 plus 4 plus 3 so it will be uh, 6 6 plus 3 9 by 3 so it is divisible by 3 so 243 is divisible by 3 write down 3 here then uh, two, you can take 24 so 8 3 is 24 then 1 3 is 3 again it is divisible by 3 because 81 can be written as 8 plus 1 that is 9 9 is divisible by 3 now you can start 2 3 is 6 then 21 7 3 is 21 now just see 27 27 can be written as 2 plus 7 sorry the, according to the divisibility test 27 the number of digits you have the sum of digits you can you have to see so 2 plus 7 that is 9 9 divisible by 9 is divisible by 3 so we can conclude that 27 is divisible by 3 so i am writing 3 here then 9 3 is 27 again 9 is divisible by 3 so 3 3 is 9 then again 3 is a prime number so you can write it as such so 1 3 is 3 so this can be written as a so this 729 can be written as a product of its prime factors 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. So how many 3s are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 729 can be written as a product of its prime factors 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. Okay. So now we have expressed 729 as a product of its prime factors. And we have completed the three problems. If you have any doubt, you can post it in the comment box. And thank you. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. Please to subscribe to our channel.